Hey guys! So today I thought I would do something a little bit more informal and I thought you guys could hang out in my living room with me while I get ready. I'm going to go to lunch with a friend so I thought I would film an everyday makeup routine. This is something that I would do when I would go to work. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. It is kind of a full makeup routine. I do every step. I just kind of go quickly through it. These are products that I use every day for years. These are things that I have done every day going to work. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial and please excuse the cat if he comes into the picture. We might as well introduce him now. His name is Duke and he'll be making lots of noises. Won't you baby? He's very naughty but super cute and sweet. So if you'd like to see how I do my everyday makeup routine, then please keep watching. So I'm going to prime my skin with the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer. And I just like to take some on my fingers, not too much. And this does help me if I'm oily during the day. Then to conceal my pores, I'm going to be using the NYX Pore Filler Primer. So I'm going to just take a little bit, not a lot, you don't need a lot of this stuff. And I like to rub it into my T-zone in the areas where I have large pores. So what I like to use is a very lightweight foundation. I actually use a BB cream. I use the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. Make sure to get the one that says Oily Combo Skin. It's a nice thin formula. It's very watery. And I get it for light to medium skin. So I've applied this many different ways, but my favorite way is just with my fingers. I think it's quick and it gives a nice coverage without being like too much. It can get cakey sometimes with a brush or a beauty blender. This is not full coverage. I would call this like light to medium. So what I like to do is I do like to take a decent amount on my hands. And then what I like to do is just rub it all over my face. I also like to bring it down my neck. So when I wash my hands in the morning, I usually clean my beauty blender at the same time. To do this, I use a solid soap. I think there's a lot of misconception of people cleaning the, their beauty blenders with a liquid soap. I actually use a solid soap. I do want to do a tutorial on how I clean my beauty blender. I also use the face halos and I use a solid soap to clean that as well. Um, and by solid soap, I mean like I use Irish Spring soap. It's super cheap and I buy them in bulk and uh, they last about a month. And I clean my face halo and my beauty blenders every day with it. So you have a nice clean beauty blender every time you apply your makeup. So now I'm going to go in with concealer. I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. And I do use quite a bit of this because it's medium, light to medium coverage and my foundation is light to medium coverage so I do like to use quite a bit of this. And then I go in with my beauty blender and I blend it out. My mirror is in such an awkward spot right now. It's fine. What do you guys think? of the background. Do you uh, like it? Comment below what you think of the background. Do you like when I have a sparkly background? I was gonna go get, you know, some different backgrounds. But this morning I thought I would just be like kind of casual. All right, so I don't know if you noticed, but that Fit Me Concealer is super easy to blend out. So then we're gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair Light. And I do bake with this. I am oily, so especially when I'm working, I wanna make sure my makeup lasts all day long. And then with my Morphe E41, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25, and I'm gonna brush away the bake with this, and I'm also going to give my face a little bit more color. Now I usually move on to contour and bronzing. So to do that, I always use my NYX Contour Palette. It's very cheap, and I like to use the colors Tan, Cream, and Soft Light. 
and a little bit of sculpt to contour. Um, lately I have been contouring a little bit more just because I feel like it gives my face a lot more shape. So I take that uh, sculpt shade on my E4 and I kind of dip it in like the corners and I'm going to contour my cheeks with this. And again, I'm here in such an awkward spot. Let's try this Now I'm going to bronze up my face with the Morphe R2 and the tan shade. I also used the NYX contour palette to put some eyeshadow on my lid and also contour my nose. So I'm going to be using the tan shade on a Morphe 504 fluffy brush. And I'm just going to quickly fluff that into the crease from inner corner to outer corner. You just wanna make sure it's all blended. And then with a smaller, fluffier brush, the M506, I'm going to take that sculpt shade and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of that tan shade and I'm gonna run that down my nose. To blend out the contour, I'm going to be taking the cream shade and the soft light shade, which is this one and this one. And then this is tan and this is sculpt, just so you know. So I'm using these two right now. And I'm going to run that under my eyes uh, along the top of my nose to blend out that nose contour. On the chin under my contour just to define it and then I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics duo fiber brush and blend that all in for blush I'm gonna be using the Kylie Cosmetics blush in virginity it looks like this and I'm using a Luxie 504 large angle brush and then I'm gonna blend that out I'm going to quickly fill in my brows with the Benefit Goof Proof Brow in the shade 4. First I'm going to brush through them and then I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. And I just give more pressure as I get back towards the tail and then where my scar is. Before we get into highlighter, I just wanted to mention that this is not something that I would really do to run errands. It's kind of my quick makeup look that has all of the products that I like to wear in it. Uh, normally if I'm just going to the grocery store or running a few errands, I'll throw on some concealer, mascara, throw a little gimme brow through my eyebrows, maybe a little highlighter to brighten my skin up, but that's about it. So I just wanted to point out, this is just the look that I would wear to work every day and it would last me the majority of the day or when it faded, it would fade very nicely. I'm gonna be taking my Sigma E32 Exact Blend brush. It's kind of a flat round brush. And I'm gonna be taking my Becca Champagne Pop it's a little broken right now, but I'm going to be taking that in my inner corner, on my brow bone, and on the lid. Oh, <laughs> that's Daisy. She's my girl. Duke and Daisy are my cats. She's going to come hang out with us. Not sure if you can see her. And I just think that this highlighter is so natural and very pretty for every day. And considering I have been using it for years, uh, this is only my second one. So it does last a really long time. I wanted to use the new Amrezy highlighter, but I already used that in a video. And this is the one that I have used every day for years, truly. I wear it to work every day since it came out. I love it. I'm also going to take it down my nose. Cupid's bow. 
And I like pack this on, you guys. Like, pack it on. And then I'll go in with my Morphe 504 brush and just kind of blend that out. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M510 brush and I'm going to dip into the Champagne Pop. I'm going to put that on my cheeks and a little on my forehead. So pretty! Now I'm going to set my face with the Max Fix Plus, the original scent. And then I'm going to blend out all that highlighter and powder while my skin is wet. I do want to mention that I haven't been using MAC Fix Plus uh, for that long. I do really like it. I use it every day now, but I was using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, and that is a very good spray, but it is more expensive, and I think the MAC Fix Plus works the same. And then after I blend out that highlighter, I do like to go back while my face is still slightly damp and just put a little bit more highlighter on. Now for mascara, I just started using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I have been using the Tarte Tardius Mascara, which I really do like. And then for the lower lashes, I've been using the Lash Discovery for a very long time and I like it a lot. So I'm just going to throw on some mascara. I usually do one coat of the Voluminous, one coat of the Tarte, and then I put the Lash Discovery on my bottom lashes. Okay, so I got a little bit of mascara everywhere, but that's okay. I'm going to wait for it to dry. While I do, I'm going to put on some lipstick. To line my lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Coco K liner. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Jouer lip cream in bare. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it's really pretty and simple and I do have this routine down to about 10 to 15 minutes. I do really like this routine for an easy work look. It's not too much, it's very natural, but it does hold well for most days. Some of the stressful days, it may not last as long, but for most days, this did last all day for me. I would come home and my contour would still look good, or my eyeshadow still look good. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I also link my social media below. Please follow me. Let's be friends. I hope everybody has a great day or night, wherever you are. Toddy bye. Oh my god, I'm freaking panic attack or something. He gets in these fits. He gets super wild. Get down! Get down! Get down! You guys, his tail right now is so big.